Hello Aries and welcome back for your monthly forecast for the month of June 2019. Now Aries and other signs who were anticipating May, um, I was taking a break, I was traveling and other things of that nature. So I appreciate the patience you guys have shown, the love and support you guys have shown. So I'm going to get back to you Aries for the month of June. Let's see what Spirit has in store for you. I'll be reading from the 24 karat gold deck of Nefertari, Bride of Ramses II. What is coming up for Aries? Oh, all right, Five of Pentacles, month of June. Judgment. The Lover. Ten of Cups. Three of Pentacles. And when you get one more card, one of pentacles. Okay, um, Aries, I feel that we've gone through a lot of splurging, um, a lot of spending, a lot of um, things of that nature. And we've kind of just been giving our energy and our resources away to others around us, you know, being a sign of Aries. We always love to help other people. That's coming forward as the five of pentacles. It just says, be careful where you're giving your energy right now, Aries. I feel that um, that you're being called to ground yourselves, you know, as in terms of feel respectfully and knowing that which is yours does belong to you, but you can share and give on to those who are in need and give on to those who are close to you. But if we're giving absolutely everything that we have away, we're left as the man who's underneath the tree, um, searching and scrounging up what little resources he has to make something come together. But that's the thing that you're talented about, Aries. You're good at working with limited resources, and you're good at starting things, planting seeds, bringing new things together. You, that's, that's a really powerful talent that you have for yourself. But don't beat yourself up in the process. That's coming up as the card of judgment. I feel like in our relationships that we have with our family, and I feel that in our relationships that we have for others who are around us, including our loved ones and those that we care about, we may feel that there is judgments going around too harshly. I feel that it's not really necessary something to get involved in right now is what I'm getting forward, coming forward through spirit right now. I feel like we may be dealing a lot with family members who um, are having past grievances and past um, things that keep coming up and they keep asking and pulling you into it. And that's the card of judgment coming in here. They're kind of asking you to pick a side. They're kind of asking you to do things of your own nature, but you've got a lot going on in your plate right now, and it's not your monkeys and not your circus. Just point blank and forward. Card of Judgment just says, don't be too hard on yourself during this process and time. Don't be too hard on yourself as in terms of, if you believe a certain outcome is going to happen as in terms of a consequence of an action, then you're going to bring it towards you. With Saturn in retrograde right now, teaches us powerful lessons that which restrictions we put upon ourselves at this time will be applied to us immediately all actions are taking corrective consequences based off of what you truly do believe in at this time so judge promptly in a corrective manner as in towards the positive note what are you manifesting in your life what are you drawing towards you perhaps you're drawing love towards you so maybe card of judgment it's asking you to stop judging this other person Maybe you have a lover who may be long distance. Maybe you have a lover who's um, not really communicating the best. Maybe you need to be more understanding, is what I'm seeing during this time period. But the card of the lover says, your heart, where your mind goes, your heart is already there. So understand that they do love you back, Aries. That they do care about you. Your family loves you back. Your loved ones love you back, and definitely your soulmate does love you back. And that's coming forward as a Gemini energy card. We are in Gemini season. June predominantly dominated a bit by that Gemini energy all the way into Cancer. So I'm just seeing for you right now areas that we need to kind of just back off as in terms of what the people we love are going through. Have a heart of understanding and know that they'll appreciate you for your patience. 
your biggest lesson that you learned during this whole past period, this whole past winter, this whole, through the solar storms, through the the retrograde periods we went in Mercury taught you the biggest les lesson of patience and that it's rewarding. I feel like we may be hitting a completion with others around us, maybe perhaps like a karmic completion. Maybe there's reasons why certain people couldn't be in our lives during these time periods are coming together for us in this month. And it's going to bring you that sense of completion, that sense of feeling loved. You're going to be left feeling loved sort of way through the month, towards the beginning. I'm feeling at least during the first week, this is going to come into fruition for you, Aries. This is early into the reading is what I'm getting. With that feeling of being loved, we feel a sense of belonging. We feel that our cup is full, and that's the Ten of Cups here representing the family aspect. They're all together. They're, they're happy. They feel that they have everything they could need to be happy. They're content. They're satisfied. They're brought back to their moment of completion. And, and realization that, yes, I have what I need. It's always been underneath my nose this whole time. That where my mind has wandered, my heart was already there. And I feel like you create these restrictions. The aspect of the pain body that you carry over yourself, the pain that you create for yourself is only created by yourself. It is anything but an illusion. One can live life in pain and still recognize that it is an illusion. But in order to conquer that pain, you have to accept things as is. Show your gratitude. Be thankful for the present moment. The present came before the past because we reflect upon the past with corrective action in the present moment. So why can reality only exist in the moment of the now? Because the moment of the now is truly all that there ever really truly is in that moment. The possibilities of the future, that which has happened in the past, bring it collectively to the now moment and see how it transforms for you. I'm getting here the Three of Pentacles for you. When we step back and we focus our priorities where it needs to be, we have momentum for growth. We have momentum for growth for ourselves financially. Um, I feel that we may need to, during this process, to reflect on growth for the month of June. We're going to have to apply ourselves. This is definitely going to be a month of perseverance. This is definitely going to be a month of hard work and efforts. Your hard work will pay off but it's being represented as a momentum energy, a building energy, the three of pentacles here. Things coming together quickly for you, Aries, but you may need to jump on with some new partners. Maybe perhaps if we're owning a business, we maybe we may be joining a business partner. Maybe we may be getting a new job altogether for most of us, but this is gonna be a lot of change. It's the beginning of the summer, Aries. That's gonna catapult us all the way through this season that we're dealing with of the summer season. It's been wild weather. Um, floods, tornadoes, things of that nature has ravaged and brought havoc across America the whole entire way. Maybe perhaps we're considering doing volunteering work for the community during this time and process to help our community rebound. Um, I feel that you're going to become very useful during this time period, Aries, and people will reflect on you with gratitude. Gratitude being the open gateway to the absolute greater things. A lot of people's theme this month for the signs is going to be that where your mind wanders, your heart is there already. So understand that if your heart is there and you can center yourself to your heart, your reality will be there also, Aries. Aries, that is my reading for you for the month of June of 2019. I thank you so much for being with us. And until next time, namaste and blessing.